Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. For those of you who are new here, my name is Steph, and today I'm going to be sharing with you another FYI before you buy. Today's FYI before you buy is my absolute favorite fall jacket. And you guys know I am super picky. I make these FYIs because I have a lot of opinions on things, and so for something to be my favorite, you know it's good. <laughs> If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen this jacket, so it is no surprise to you that it is my favorite fall jacket, and that is the Wilfred Free Ghana jacket. It looks like this. And I will insert cutaway. It is currently retailing for $198 Canadian and comes in one, two, three, four, nine different shades. Holy. It is 100% merino wool, so it is super soft, super cozy, and just everything you want in a casual fall jacket. It is cut kind of like a lumberjack style, so it's long in the front, long in the back, and has these cut-ups. It kind of looks like a shirt, but then it's thick like a jacket. So it is just amazing to wear with shorts in early fall, denim in late fall, leather. It's just perfection. So, I only have one thing that you really need to know about this jacket, and that it does pill. It starts off not pilling, and then as you wear it, it pills, and then the more you wear it, it stops pilling. I think it is because that it is 100% merino wool, so that does impact things a bit, but it is this like pill cycle, so if you do get it and it starts pilling, don't worry, I had that too, and then it stopped, and I was also warned by the SA who sold me this that it does do that. So I was prepared and I'm preparing you guys for that who didn't get that little tidbit from the SA. Um, for sizing, for me, I got this in a medium. My rationale for a medium, even though it is an oversized jacket and to get it even more oversized, was to ensure the longevity throughout the season of the coat. Effectively, what I thought was I would start it off with tank tops and t-shirts and light long sleeves in the early fall and then switch to turtlenecks and thermals and then sweaters and then you know by the end of the season you've got you know potentially four or five layers underneath it depending um i know it gets really cold here in toronto but you don't always want to wear a full puffer jacket until it drops below zero fully but when it is around zero it is quite cold so you want to layer up that was my thought, that is why I sized up. And I was right. I have managed to wear the sweater. I wore it all throughout the winter on and off because we did have a unseasonably warm winter at points. I brought this jacket with me to Boston a couple times and it also traveled with me ooh, to like, I did a like road trip across Eastern, mid-Eastern Canada last year with my family in the fall. And this was one of two jackets that I brought with me. So, it is very versatile. Um, if you are going to be wearing this just as a early fall piece or as more of a sweater jacket sort of vibe, take your true size or even size down. It all just depends on what you're going to be wearing underneath. If you're like me, especially if you, um, if you guys have like those thick kind of Acne Studio style sweaters, size up just so there's room in the arms for all of that extra material and so that you're comfortable and not feeling super constricted but yeah that is absolutely everything you need to know um <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching again i cannot recommend this jacket enough it is my favorite it's so versatile and i think considering how much wear i've gotten out of it it is like supremely worth the price but yeah that's everything thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.